Okay, so I went through the option and find... Actually, I didn't find anything. Because I don't even know if there is a button for it. There should be a button to turn off your engine. It even says they want to switch off engine. I don't know. I didn't find a button. I'm just gonna go into like, hey, Sally, what's up? I'm gonna try and do it like this. Hopefully, it works without actually using a button for it. I don't know. Sally, you're loading awfully slow this time. What's up? I think I should have bought another side later to make more, uh, make reduce my noise level. At least I have one. It's fire underwater. Don't question it, guys. Don't. Oh, sorry for that cut, my game actually crashed and I had to reload. But it's okay now. Oh shit, torpedoes. Why the fuck do you... Okay, that was my only buzzer. Uh, why did you start me right off in front of an enemy base? Oh, two it. Why am I using this one? I can't actually dodge any more missiles right now, so I'm gonna have to eat another one if they shoot at me. The good thing about turrets is they don't actually move. They actually have a bit more health than ships, so... Yeah. I have to shoot this guy. No, I have to destroy all satellite dishes. Which I just read down there at the bottom. Which are these? Imagine if I still have my first weapon. Oh my god. Are the explosions loud again? What? Oh god. I don't know. Hey, what's this? Wait, why is this sound? Without communications, the turrets are completely useless. Actually, we are like trying to take these guys out, but we can't actually kill them. So, what we do is we make sure that they can't order any more pizzas and then they're bound to die after like a few days. Like, no way to survive without that. Mines. Oh god. Yeah, mines. Lots of mines. I think mines are actually like two shot kill in this game. Like really powerful. You don't want to touch a mine. Or relays. Oh transformers. I thought they were called relays. Whatever. Basically um uh, basically, if you kill these, you, you call them transformers, or she called them transformers. Um, the, uh, they basically give tower uh, power to the turrets. Well, that's what it was mean with turn the engine off. Just don't use backwards and forwards anymore because that's a really strong cronier. They so don't actually need to use backwards and forwards. You can just use, you can just strafe. Okay, that works. No, no, it is called relay. Wasn't wrong. She was wrong. And now we just blast them. And I'm getting shot at, but it's okay because I'm gonna kill these relays. The relays are dead. They're gonna have no power. What now?
There we go. See all those turrets have no power. They have no communication and no power. So they're completely useless. Even though just having no power would be enough, but they also have no communication. Not just people communicating, but of course also tourists communicate with each other. But I is like this bad guy. Really, really bad. Yeah, I think he's like one of the most uh, evil guys right now, so he's like the main villain. I think. I'm not completely sure on that. Why do I have to escort her? And a turrets. No, they're not. They're not North American turrets, but you know, they might as well be. More turrets and torpedoes. Gonna get right up personal with those. It actually, turns faster than I thought. And it also takes a bit more damage than I thought. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to dodge that one. I think. Unless he's not actually shooting at me, even though he's looking at me. Oh, hello. That wasn't necessary. Oh, okay. I think these ones are also um, take more damage if you shoot them from below, like at the belly, and they have a bit uh, have thicker armor at the top. But obviously, the cockpit takes more damage, like more damage, most stuff. So shoot it by the face, it does more damage. Where's the grunge? What the fuck? Why is she gone? Oh, whatever. You can take care of herself. Oops, unnecessary. Seriously, where is she though? What? Oh no, I need to hold position until she's back. Okay, I just read that down there. I'm just gonna clean up more stuff, I guess. Something on there. Yeah, scrap. Very important to kill the scrap. You can't actually kill the scrap. I don't know why you think this one. I don't know. I want half health, but it's okay, it's okay. Oh, come on, can you wait just a little bit longer? I was just about to kill that one. Well, that's what those hyperspace drives are called. Dipole drives. That's the thing I was using all the other time. So this is actually not looking that good since there's tons of enemies around there. But screw it. Also there's a boss over there and I just got almost shot right in the face. Oof, whoa! Okay, that was more powerful than I thought. I don't know where the autosave is, so I don't actually want to do anything wrong here, so I'm just gonna try and reload the entire mission. I probably should have already autosaved though. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna try and do something. I'm gonna try and find out where the auto load actually is. Unless it just did another one right there, which it might have. Okay, it was good to actually try and retry the mission because the load last auto load is right here, which is not any better. So if you fail the mission, you have to retry the entire mission again. But that's okay since mostly missions are not that long. So at most you have to redo like five to ten minutes. Which is not that much. I mean it could be more. Like some other games like you have to redo multiple hours sometimes, which is really bad. For example, Final Fantasy 3, a Final Fantasy game you should all not play, 
because not only is it so hard that you actually have to grind up, uh, grind for like two hours before every boss fight, or else you're gonna have lots of trouble. Like at the very end of the game, you like go, you like go into this huge crystal tower. I actually made a let's play of it. It has like t billions of views, whatever. So basically, you go into this um, huge tower, and the deal with it is you can only save on the world map, and you go from the world map into this tower. Now you fight to the top of the tower for like half an hour, so it's like half an hour right there. And if you're on the top of the tower, you fight a boss. Okay, that's a boss. It's a boss not that powerful, you're probably not gonna die to him, but... So you fight this boss, after this boss, you fight another boss. Now this boss is like, um, scripted, so that you can't win against him. So, you just lose to this boss, and then you go into like, some kind of, like, shadow realm. And in this Shadow Realm, you have to fight four more bosses. And you also have to go through the Shadow Realm with, like, I think there's also um, random battles. So, you have more random battles, you have more bosses. The bosses are actually quite powerful. You have four more bosses right there. And then you fight the final boss after some more traveling. So, that's like two hours or two to three hours to get to the final boss from the last save. So if you die on any of these like six boss battles that actually matter, you have to redo three hours of gameplay. Which is I think one of the reasons why people don't like Final Fantasy 3, which I don't even like it. I, I played through it once, then I let's played it, which is like two playthroughs, and I wished I didn't even do a single playthrough because it's it's just you just grind and when you're powerful enough you kill shit. That's that's no skill or tactics or anything involved, just grind and kill stuff. That's pretty much it. Same with Final Fantasy 2. But Final Fantasy 2 was, was it wasn't even fun. Final Fantasy 3 was a little, at least a little bit fun. So those are my two bits about those games. However, Final Fantasy 4, 5 and 6 are must plays. I don't even know why I'm not cutting this out right now, but I don't think I need to cut this right now anyway, because I'm almost back to where I was. Man, I'm almost, I have to go through this place down there. Kill the relay, and... Why am I not skipping this? I, I, that's right, I can't skip it. And... Then I'm gonna kill these guys again. And then I'm gonna try and not die, actually. Which sounds like a good thing. Yeah, that sounds like a good thing. Don't hit mine. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. Okay, okay, you almost got it. Okay. Fire in the hole. Ah! Uh, the other relay, there you go. There you go. Easy. Do we have a buzzer left? I think I actually have a buzzer left, which is gonna help me in the fight after this one. I'm pretty sure I have one left, because at the start of this mission last time I used the buzzer right away because I was locked on by a turret and it shot me. Uh, that didn't happen this time, so I have a buzzer left. A from oh, now I remember, you can actually like hit the fire button and it actually like speeds up the... Uh, the cutscenes. It doesn't entirely skip them, but it, skip, it gets like 0 0.8, uh, not 0 0.8, times 8 speed, so it's really fast. There's more. What over there? Oh, 
Du, 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 du. My mouse. Okay, there you go. It's actually quite sensitive, my mouse, even though I'm on uh, 100 DPI, which is like three times my entire mouse mat to get from like one edge of the desktop to the other one. It's, it's probably in this one. So every time actually I go to desktop or tab, or the game crashes, we actually happened once. It's a nightmare. I think I said before, but I'm just gonna get raided. What's that? Oh. Expert J Oh yeah, your belly. Oh, tons of damage. And dead. Where's the other one? There you go. Hello. There's actually two of them. They're my friends actually. What the fuck are they doing? There's another one, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, now my friends are there, so it's actually okay. But I'm still taking tons of damage. There we go. Okay, so this time we don't fail. Can I actually save right here? No. Oh yeah, it actually says down there I need to buzz off and dipole drive. Sounds like a reasonable idea, so I just run away. And there goes my last buzzer. Probably worth it though. There we go. So I hope I get some money for this one. No, I don't. Oh my god, fuck you. Maybe I get some now? No, next mission. I still have no money for Skipjack. That's okay, that's okay. You can, you can fight with Avenger. No problem. I'm gonna protect something again. And I'm not allowed to let one of them die. Should be possible. Okay. Okay, I have bottom helping me. That's good. Protecting. It's not even docked on, what the fuck? Uh, just protecting. And pumping. Yep, doing my job. Doing my job. Oh, enemies, okay, finally something to do. Woo! I'm not gonna hit from this distance. Oh, look at that damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you shoot the belly, they take so much damage. I'm not shooting the caterpillars, but I just kill them. Yeah, I think Alan does tons of damage to these guys. That shit is actually quite big. Something that I didn't even mention, if you lock on to something, you can see at the very top right, there's a cargo of the enemy. 
you can use to see if they have some uh, what weapon they have. Like they have um, like this guy has plasma one uh, uh, cannon and a thresher torpedo. If you know what the torpedoes are, you know can know what type they are. Like some like I said before, some torpedoes just shoot in random just shoot forwards, and some home in on you. And if you know that like they have someone that just shoots forwards. You know that you can dodge them, and if you have someone that uh, locks on, you can have a button. Uh, you can keep your finger on the buzzer button, so you can instantly throw down a buzzer and avoid it. Okay, well that was easy. <laughs> that was a little bit too easy, almost. I don't even know why I can. I don't know why I can can't skip this one. Well, I don't know. Probably has some reason. It should have a reason. Oh hi Sally, what's up? Just loading. Okay. <laughs> Only four thousand nine hundred. What the fuck? Oh. Okay, there we go. Ten thousand more. Okay, 20,000. Let's see if there's something new over here. No. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, Big Bang. This, that's this one does like. Um, tons and tons of damage, but it's actually very, very slow. You can also see um, that any enemy lock and agility. Which tells you if they home in, how fast they can turn and stuff. I'm not really interested in those stuff right now. Okay, skip Jack. Well, let's do it. Did I get a plasma gun? Don't have any torpedoes, don't have any buzzers left, sadly. Repair kit, Silator, Silator. Get another Silator. Because I don't actually have anything right now. I can only equip it once, okay, okay, whatever. I'm just sell it for 100% of the price. And I'm gonna buy some buzzers, they're actually really cheap. You can see right now, 90. Only screen freeze, there you go. There you go, five buzzers again. And there goes a hard save. I don't know if this game actually quick saves, but I'm um, just using hard saves, it's okay. <laughs> 